And it has indeed been a newsworthy day, Mark and Jessica, one that has resulted in a change in city policy directly related to the demonstrations that we have seen in the city over the last few days. And organizers, yes, quite literally getting a seat at the table with Seattle's mayor and police chief. And you can see a, a picture behind me that we haven't seen a whole lot of in the last few days, a cordial conversation between some of those demonstration organizers and Seattle police. And on those very steps, we saw Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin walk out of City Hall to address a crowd of thousands about the demonstrations, about the use of force by Seattle police and any potential changes in policy. One of them involved the memorial stripe that you see across badges. It has been a source of controversy through all of these demonstrations, a stripe that police will tell you they wear to honor fallen officers, but demonstrators have said is hiding badge numbers and they've wanted a change in policy. Durkin attempted to address that in front of the crowd this afternoon. I want to answer the question here, was why our badges covered up? And I want to tell you that the chief and I announced yesterday that we are going to make sure that not just the names are there, that a badge number is displayed. We won't be able to do it overnight, but we will make sure it happens. Durkin then turned around and went back into City Hall for that meeting with some of the protest organizers talking about the issues that we have talked a lot about over the last few days, including the consent decree. And while all of this was playing out here in Seattle, the city attorney said he had filed a motion to withdraw his appeal on that consent decree. The city of Seattle has been tied up with the federal court system back since 2012 since the death of John T. Williams, a woodcarver at the hands of a Seattle police officer. They have taken several steps to show that they can be, can, can be compliant with use of force and not have federal oversight. A lot of the demonstrators over the last few days have said they don't want that to happen. And because of these demonstrations and because of some of the use of force, Seattle City Attorney says, let's hit the pause button on all of this. All of that playing out while this meeting was happening inside City Hall and afterwards I had a chance to talk to Seattle Police Chief Carmen Best about not only the meeting but the big move by the city attorney. We had a great conversation, a lot of new voices at the table expressing a lot of their concerns. I thought it was great that we were able to have that dialogue. We're scheduling another meeting. Uh, people want to meet, they want to talk, they want to address their concerns and issues with the mayor and myself. And I think that's a good thing, right? We can come together uh, and find ways that we can have um, you know, unity and common ground. So I'm looking forward to those discussions and seeing how they might affect policy and practices and procedures. So all in all, it was a good day. And the second question would be, uh, as all of this was unfolding this afternoon, the city attorney put out an official release saying he's withdrawing the motion on the consent decree. Your reaction? Well, I'll be putting out a statement to my troops later on this afternoon. Um, clearly, you know, I have to trust the judgment uh, and the values that the city attorney has. I'm sure he has his reasons for doing that. And we want to make sure we have an opportunity. We actually, I talked with the mayor, we're the ones who actually suggested uh, that we, you know, take a pause to make sure that we can review um, what we had in place and then the city attorney um, issued their release. So I think we're all on the same page about what needs to happen here, uh, taking a pause under such unique um, and precarious circumstances. Yeah, so that is a big policy shift by the city of Seattle in the wake of all of the demonstrations and protests and the use of force by Seattle police. I did have a chance to talk to some of the people at the table at this meeting. They walked out generally positive, saying they didn't expect necessarily something to happen right away, but they believe that things are going in a positive direction. That's the story for now live at Seattle City Hall. I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News. Chris, thank